So the first project I'm looking at is, uh, you know, Matic. Uh, Matic had a very big, you know, pullback uh, going from a dollar nine cents, you know, all the way down to uh, 68 cents. Uh, that was a 37% pullback. So if you look at Matic right now, uh, the first thing that I'm starting to like is we just broke out of this downtrend right here. All right. So prior to that, we got rejected, uh, got rejected again. Uh, finally, you know, we have managed to break out of this, you know, daily downtrend. So that's very positive. And also, you know, we just broke above the previous lower high. So we just broke above, you know, 80 cents. Uh, that's very positive, guys. Very positive right here. You know, breaking above the previous lower high is very positive. And if you look at the performance of uh, Matic since, you know, December 27, this was a higher high. Uh, here we had a lower high. This was a lower low. Uh, we had a lower high right here. This was a lower low. All right. But what we have, uh, this was also a lower high. So what we have right now is, you know, Matic uh, breaking out of this, you know, downtrend. All right. So we have, you know, Matic above the previous lower high, uh, which is very positive, like very, very positive right here, guys. Um, so I'm looking at Matic right now, uh, potentially going all the way up to retest. I mean, 95 cents to be honest with you guys. You know, I am looking at Matic uh, potentially going all the way up to, to 95 cents. Now, what I would like to see is this. You know, after this breakout right here, I would like to see a lower high. So I would like to see a pullback, you know, at some point in the near future. Uh, I would like to see a pullback. So if we push all the way up to 95 cents, I would like to see a pullback. And I would like to see a, a higher low, you know, somewhere around here to be even more bullish on Matic. Uh, but this could potentially be the beginning of another uptrend. So I'm very excited. Uh, if we look at the daily MACD, I want you guys to take a look at this daily MACD right here. Uh, the daily MACD has gave us, you know, a bullish confirmation uh, right here. But we need to be a little bit more careful because, you know, we are still in the bearish territory. So the daily MACD is still below the zero line. Uh, that is bearish right now. So something to keep an eye on, uh, if we do break above the zero line, uh, that's going to be very bullish. Uh, but right now, you know, this is definitely the beginning of, you know, something really good. Uh, we do have a lot of resistance that we need to continue to keep our eyes on. You know, anywhere from 80 cents uh, all the way up to a dollar 10 cents is a lot of resistance, you know, inside of this range right here, guys. There's a lot of resistance right here. So we definitely need to continue to monitor uh, this overall trend. Uh, if we go down to the four hour, uh, the four hour looks really good, actually. Uh, the four hour time frame looks very positive. We had a breakout and uh, you know it looks like we are consolidating right now uh, the four hour MACD is already back in the bullish territory so above the zero line uh, which is you know very good and uh, you know if you look at the price and you look at moving average we are also trading above you know, moving average, and we actually, you know, got a pullback, and we put in higher lows. Uh, we have a higher low right here on the four-hour time frame. So 
the four hour looks really good. Uh, I would like to see you know the same thing playing out on the daily. Uh, but this is definitely the beginning of you know something very positive for for Matic. Uh, this is very good right here, guys. It's not just Matic. There is a, a bunch of other projects with a similar outlook. Uh, I was looking. Uh, uh, let's go all the way down. Uh, I was looking at uh, what project was I looking at? Uh, Super Farm, I think. Was he Super Farm? Yeah. So look, I was looking at Super Farm. Uh, Super Farm looks, you know, even more bullish than Matic. Uh, we have, you know, a break out of the downtrend. Uh, right here. We have a pullback. We have a lower high, excuse me, a higher low right here. And uh, we also have, you know, daily MACD in, uh, in the bullish territory. So Super Farm looks, you know, incredibly bullish right now. We do have a lot of resistance, you know, somewhere around, uh, you know, basically anywhere in this range, you know, all the way up to, the higher 78 cents. There's a lot of resistance right there. But as long as the chart looks like this, we're more likely to break above, you know, 78 cents uh, very soon and push to, you know, even higher targets. So, you know, I'm looking at uh, 92 cents right here. Uh, if we do break above 92 cents, we're looking at Super Farm going all the way up to a dollar 23 cents so yeah super farm looks very bullish uh take a look at this daily macd right here guys i mean this right here is very very bullish right here uh if we look at the weekly uh daily uh weekly macd you know a little bit too extended but you know also in an uptrend of course so yeah this one looks really good uh, another one, it's not just, you know, Super Farm. Uh, another one is, uh, I came across another one. Um, uh, no, not this one. No, not that. Uh, I was also looking at another project. Uh, let's take a look at, all right. So, yeah, let's take a look at Solanium and also Solana, actually. Solana is also starting to look really good, like really, really good. So yeah, Solanium also looks really good. Uh, we broke out of this downtrend right here on the daily. Uh, the price has managed to broke above, you know, moving average again. So this is really good right here. And uh, you listen, I'm I'm looking at Solanium uh, going back to thirty four cents. Uh, thirty four cents right here, guys. Uh, maybe we should be looking at the entire range. You know, anywhere from thirty four cents. All the way up to 40 cents. Uh, there's a lot of resistance in that range. So that is a potential price target. We have a very bullish confirmation from the daily MACD right here. We turn bullish right here. Uh, the daily MACD is about to break above the zero line, you know, sometimes very soon. Uh, we are still, you know, in the bearish territory. So if we do break above the zero line, uh, that is going to be, you know, even more bullish for, you know, Solanium. Uh, but technically speaking, this is really good right here, guys. Like this is, you know, the beginning of a very big move that could potentially take the price of Solanium, you know, all the way back to the highs of 2023. So I'm looking at 58 cents. 58 cents guys uh if we look at Sol solana solana is also doing the very same thing but what i would like to see is a higher low i would like to see some sort of a pullback uh, i would like to see a higher low uh, but we don't have to you know put in a higher low uh the fact that we broke above the previous lower high uh, is very positive so if you look at solana you know the same thing is actually playing out and Solana just broke above its previous lower high. All right. We just broke above, you know, a dollar, uh, excuse me, 
$103. That's very positive. Uh, but, what, but what I want you guys to take a look at is, you know, Solana's daily MACD. Like, this thing is looking very bullish right here, guys. This is reminding me of Solana back right here, back in October when Solana was in the $20 range. So if you go back to October, guys, this was a setup of Solana. Uh, let me actually clean this up. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So right here, guys. Right, this this setup right here. I want you guys to take a look at this setup right here. Kind of looks like what we have right now. Boom. Yeah, I want you guys to take a look at the similarities right here. Let me get rid of that. All right, very, very similar. This is, you know, very bullish, guys. We had a bullish MACD right here. Uh, this is the daily time. Uh, bullish MACD right here. Price of Solana breaks above, you know, both the 21 and the 50 moving average right here. Uh, October 16, October 20th. Uh, price of Solana has managed to, broke, uh, to break above, you know, both the 50 and the 21 EMA. And uh, Solana has also managed to break above, you know, the previous lower high. So even if we do get a pullback, yeah, as long as, you know, Solana puts in a higher low. Uh, so as long as we stop, you know, before coming back to 78 cents, you know, to me, that would indicate that the bottom is already in and what you'll be looking at right here is the, uh, would be the beginning of, you know, another monster move. Uh, there is a reason, you know, we talked about buying the dip. Uh, the reason we talked about buying the dip was because we are simply in a bull market. Uh, during a bull market, there's going to be pullbacks, all right? Pullbacks are always going to occur, but pullbacks are not going to last for a very long time, all right? They're just not going to last for a very long time, guys. And because of that, you just have to take advantage of every single pullback. So I gave you guys, you know, the $60, $80 range. Uh, Solana did drop to around $78. So if you did took advantage, you know, congratulations.